WDM systems use multiple wavelengths. This means that, as the number of channels increases, the need grows for a wavelength tunable laser that can operate at various wavelengths. To meet this need, NTT Photonics Laboratories have developed two kinds of wavelength tunable lasers by using optical semiconductor technologies. The first is a DFB array wavelength selectable laser. We have integrated many DFB lasers to operate at many wavelengths. A DFB laser array, an MMI coupler, and a semiconductor optical amplifier have been achieved on a semiconductor chip. A DFB laser array consists of a maximum of 16 DFB lasers. The lasing wavelengths of these DFB lasers are at 3 nanometer intervals. This shift in the lasing wavelengths can be adjusted by using a phenomenon whereby the lasing wavelength increases with the temperature of the DFB laser. In this way, we have succeeded in covering a wavelength band of 46.9 nanometers, currently the widest in the world. This band can cover all the ITU grid wavelengths of the C-band. This laser can be used as a substitute for a fixed wavelength light source or as a standby source and will contribute to reducing the size and cost of WDM systems. The second type is a wavelength tunable SSG DBR laser. We have made it possible to control the lasing wavelength by developing the structure of the laser resonator. The laser cavity consists of two superstructure gratings, one at the front and one at the rear. These two gratings are given slightly different periods and this generates a difference between the peak intervals of the reflection spectra. Lasing occurs when we select the one frequency mode at which the front and rear peaks become aligned. By varying the current injecting through the wavelength control region, reflection peaks are shifted and wavelength shifting over a wide range is achieved in nanosecond order. This laser module is currently capable of operating at 0.4 nanometer intervals and with 100 channels as prescribed by the ITU. We expect this laser to be applied to optical packet switching through the use of wavelength labels. In this network, if a wavelength is allocated to every destination, ultra-high speed routing can be achieved by replacing a packet switch with just one AWG. This will make it easy to construct a new generation of WDM systems that are both protocol and bitrate free. In the future, further advances in optical semiconductor technologies should lead to photonic networks that have even greater speeds higher capacities, and increased flexibility.